no wonder. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Lance, give me uh, five seconds. I'm going to do a countdown. Perfect. We have uh, we have Paul joining us as well. Just so you know, <laughs> Paul, the CTO, is joining us any second oh, now as well. Yeah, yeah, he'll be with us. Just if we can hold on, just one second. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't know that. All right. One. Uh, so yeah. Trixie, Trixie I just does sent him uh, the link. Trixie has her own show out of uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, so she's on Amazon Great. Prime, uh, and then she's a award winner with her show. So and she she creates a lot of our flyers that we're doing, especially stuff on a website. So if she was available. I wanted to have another girl on besides me, the plain old boring black guy. So that's why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, perfect, guys. Uh, all good. Let's just see what he says quick. Because if, if you want to record, he can throw in some interesting but not too technical details as well. I'm trying to get it in my Outlook. Uh, I'll just pass it here then quickly. Um, and thanks for taking the time. Um, I rewatched uh, the iHeart um, slot that was, I think, what, overnight or yesterday? <clears throat> oh, the one that we did last night? The presentation, yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, this, Paul. The one from CES. Yeah, the one from CES. Hi. Here we go. Paul's with us now. Give me a second. Paul, meet Paul, Brian hear, and meet. Can you hear Lance? Hello. Hello. Hi there. Paul. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. There you, you go. Ah. ah, there he is. Yeah. Sorry, I had a problem with my Outlook and I just couldn't retrieve the link. Oh, don't worry about it. Hey, here's one thing we know. Everybody is streaming. This is the most any January has ever had on. And I keep reminding people that. So that's what it is. We're going to have technical problems because people's doing it for the next 48 hours, 24-7. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let me record this. Oh, we're recording in here. So here we go. It's hey. Sebastian. Movie reviews and more. iTube 247 out of Franklin, Tennessee. Worldwide TV network. Amazon. Pandora. All the platforms around the world. So this is a special, I call it a special CES show because I haven't had never had the time to do this before where we grab someone like out of the hall and you want to interview them right away. This is the best that you can do since everything is virtual. So out of Houston, Texas, my good friend, one of our co-hosts, Trixie Jen. All right, so Lance, you're out of Geneva, Switzerland. And obviously, Paul, where are you? That's correct. I'm in Geneva, Switzerland as well. All right, let's talk about this. So. I love the platform of this, Global M. It's very interesting. What makes this special to people, especially in the world of sports, which is quite interesting? Well, I tell you, we, we take uh, a smartphone like an iPhone 12 here or a high range uh, Android as well. And we turn that into a broadcast camera and streaming and actually taking the raw frames using a hardware encoder inside the phone to then stream onto the Global M network. We call it the CDN, the Content Delivery Network, with SRT gateway technology, which we've coded and built ourselves. So very high quality, very low latency across the world. Wow. Yeah. Like that? Oh, I do. I, I definitely like that because I see it. Uh, I don't want to say any company's difficult, but streaming and other networks it can be challenging and so he makes it sound easy lance you do make it sound easy um it's well i i tell you what we just did we were just paul and i just traveled to berlin we got our COVID test in switzerland went across the border drove to berlin got COVID tests there every day but for the european film awards uh which took place on the 12th of december we had 40 nominees using the global m app uh, they received a package with an iPhone 11, with a microphone, with a small stand, a ring light, uh, earbuds, and they streamed live into the ceremony in Berlin in broadcast quality, whereby we put them up on two very big boards, uh, LED uh, major monitors, and they were all converted to really high quality. Wow, amazing. That's great. I actually they like their that. acceptance speeches. Huh. I might want to use that. Heck yeah. <laughs> Let me know more. <laughs> Interesting. You'll see a video 
I don't know, you probably received our, hopefully you received our press release. Uh, yes. And access to yes. our little media yes, room. You'll be able to see a, a short, you know, little two minute or so video of the highlights and how the executive producer talked about SRT streams and that really there's no more need for satellite, which we wow. would always use in the past, which was okay. our background in the past as well. Well, here's the interesting thing is that right now you are seeing major news networks on, on the air or, you know, everybody's doing this. They're taking a, a video conferencing system or they're taking a, a social streaming system and they're trying to crop out, crop it out and screen, you know, and, and, and screen capture it and then put it onto their program. Um, what we do is we allow that same kind of function as well to happen, except it's a, it's a professional stream. So one of our new features is, is that you can actually generate a deep link, like a, a link that you can just copy and paste and send to uh, um, your, your guest for your program. They can click that link. It'll pull the app from the app store. And then with the same token, it will log into the camera app and then you can start streaming directly. Uh, the great thing is, is that all your streams come back to you as an individual high quality stream. So you can use any SRT decoder. There's 450 of them in the Alliance now. And you can then put that directly into your production system. You don't have to try to make a square peg fit a round hole. You don't have to try to make a, a, a video conferencing system and you know, cropping it and taking that uh, screen um, you know, and then trying to get that into your production system like you would with, I don't want to mention names, but, you know, all the different types of uh, video conferencing systems we're using today. When, does, when did this whole concept come about? And why should people want to use this? Because this is interesting. Trucy's a sports fan out of Dallas Cowboys fan, so she's dealing with a lot of <laughs> that. I do a lot of stuff on the Sportamix side, so it's like the Facebook of sports. This sounds interesting to me because I think this would have been great uh, last November uh, 2019 at the World Jiu-Jitsu uh, competition in Long Beach, California. I think this would have been great because that presence there, they had no media, uh, very limited, and I, and I felt bad. But, but I like, all these athletes came from around the world. This would have been great for that concept at that point. And, uh, well, oh, I'll tell I'm you sorry. the good uh, Sorry, go ahead, uh, Paul, if I can uh, ask, what do you do uh, since it's live streaming? What if, is there any um, policies on foul, like bad language, or if there's a girl in a bikini, is there any kind of, you know, you can't post that kind of stuff, or how would that work? Would you stop that's the stream right then? That's if we're going to use it on the, on the edit, if we're going to take an editorial decision and put it on our marketplace. Mm -hmm. But if you're using it for your own program, so you're mm -hmm. using it just as a streaming service. That's up to you what you do with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I was, it was just a good question because um, uh, I work with the Texas bikini team as well. And I'm trying to do more things with them this year now that um, hopefully if things get better. And uh, a lot of people, they, you know, they don't want to see a woman in a bikini or even though if it's for talent and they're singing and, you know, it's, it's all also a modeling thing for them and um and it goes it ties in with sports as well so <clears throat> it was just a question because it's a concern of mine because that's what happens sometimes of course i think the the good thing to remember with global m using srt is that one all streams are okay. encrypted so if it yeah. is a closed uh exchange internally for yourself for whatever sporting event for iheart if they were doing a concert or they were following a movie premiere or following a movie award ceremony on the red carpet, that would be streamed back to wherever your broadcast control room is. And then you pick and choose what you need from those incoming streams. I got so, you. So yeah, in that particular case, it's it, it actually is very good. And that means we can also handle rights management as well. Okay. We can help with rights management, distribution of, of sports, distribution of even uh, isolated cams um, in addition to the host broadcaster mixed signal. What about doing something for um, our, our in studio has not been shut down of what we did. We always, I, we changed everything around to make it small to begin with. So it can be, we could stream on a different uh, 
on uh, someone else's phone while we're doing our in-studio event at the same time? I mean, it sounds easy. Is that correct? That's, that's correct. You can do that. You can be streaming with, uh, as long as they go and install the app and you log in with your, with your login that you're using for streaming, that will work. Okay. So, because I, I have one girl, uh, Trixie, I have Linda Steele do this. I have her have her laptop because she's got a great world-renowned uh, fan base. And I have her phone set up to the left and to the right of her. So she's going back and forth on, on, on what her fans are chiming in because they may not know what we're talking about. And then she turns the phone around like that. So we tested it too oh. and working great. So this would be great for her also. So that's why I want to know. Yeah, it sounds really good. Yeah, I'd like to look more into it and see if I can get something going, especially... I'm uh, getting some uh, events and a show going this spring. So it's something I'd like to try out and see how it works out. That would be awesome. Absolutely. We could get you set up with a demo with a period of time. You could, you could try it. You could use remote guests, you know, streaming in from home or remote locations. And this is not only in the U S of course, this is, this is worldwide because the network that we're building, we're a partner of AWS but what we've done inside this sort of big pipeline, if you will, or mega highway, uh, is that we've coded and, and uh, developed the SRT gateway ourselves. So we can do point to point and point to multi-point distribution. Okay. So say you had uh, Dua Lipa in London and Ryan Seacrest, for example, because that's what I watched from the CES program brings you know someone in from another country or another part of the US or outside London wherever i mean that is uh, very easy with sub second latency and hd broadcast quality right from the smartphone wow okay. eight, eight points of presence at the moment set up around the world so we've got washington california <clears throat> we've got dublin uh, frankfurt bahrain singapore and Sydney and Sao Paulo. For the European Film Awards, we had we had two rather big stars in London. One was in a hotel with really bad internet, and that was Viggo Mortensen. But his his signal was staying, and he was there the whole time for the whole ceremony. And and across town somewhere, we had Mads Mikkelsen, who's shooting currently in the UK. Uh, he replaced Johnny Depp in the movie, and. Um, his, his, he had a good connection. He had a very good connection from his hotel, but you know, they'd both been on production and doing press, but we brought them into Berlin and they were always available for the director to cut and take when needed. You know, one of the things I, I learned um, on, a, on the TV side of stuff, no matter what hotel you were at, five star, four star or no star, um, like 150 press people say out of 50 that you can have on one would have to drop off or another one to come in and we would be in one of the bigger forums and going back to 06, 08, I figured this out no matter what it could be the timing of things it could be just like uh, what was going mm -hmm. on but the signals went strong the best hotel that I found in the country was the Beverly Hills uh, the Beverly Hilton in Beverly Hills because we had all the awards mm -hmm. there and I would always be in their tech room watching what they're doing. And then if I had a problem, I would run from the ballroom, run over there and they would help me right away. They were just right on it. And I was like, no matter what, they always said, you can only have a limit of so many people on. How do you guys deal with everything when everybody on the world is on right now? Because it's only gonna get, the, the internet was never built to have this many people on, right? <laughs> you guys are laughing, you know. You <laughs> That's why we went from IPv4 to IPv6. It had to grow, you know. So, um, no, the internet is, uh, is I think, it, today we're calling them hyper networks now. So, you know, we've gone a bit, a bit beyond the, the uh, you know, the, the old days of, of dial-up modems and cable modems. And now, like where Lance is right now, he's got a 10 gig connection. You know, it's, mm. I'm up a mountain and I have 200 meg in Switzerland. It's, it's great. <laughs> Yeah, see, I'm in Vegas, and then so my neighborhood is weird, so I can get spotty. But I, as Trixie will tell you, on our Tuesday night shows, I play. I have to plug, you know, straight into the modem and stand there. I mean, and I've tested different areas: my long cord, my short cord, 
as like, it's, it, it can be challenging. So I always tell people, uh, you got to do these things. And now everybody's got to have a microphone. So for me, coming from radio, um, it's interesting to see everybody can do a podcast or radio show. But as Trixie will tell you, not everybody can do a radio podcast and make it work. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I tell them just because you have a smartphone doesn't mean you know how to use it. That doesn't make you smart, right? <laughs> but when well, I Glenn, think we but, mix and match in. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, Brian. No, I'm just saying, and, and Paul could go into details if you need, but in the app, we can choose and we can mix and match. For example, we have a media company in London using 5G and, and having a fixed bit rate at 20 megabits per second upload uh, and transmission. And the quality for them is absolutely amazing. We could go to other locations where it's a bursty network and we can turn on the adjustable bit rate options so that it can go down, possibly even down to just one meg and still give us a usable signal. Yeah, it's our network adaptive streaming mode where we measure the, 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 return, the SRT return channel that's going from the data center back to the phone is telling the phone what its receive bandwidth is. So we make sure we encode the video only to what the actual receive bandwidth is in the data center. So any bottlenecks along the way are compensated for. And that's a really intelligent way of doing it because other applications, they'll try to do the same thing, but they're measuring the internet directly on your phone. So if there's a bottleneck somewhere in the network on the way to the data center, it's not compensated for. So we can guarantee that the video is always going through to its, uh, to its streaming server. Talk about how you guys started this. How did this whole concept come together and what took so long for it to come to fruition? <laughs> well, I tell you, Paul and I were working together uh, for 12 years at the European Broadcasting Union, which is Eurovision, yeah. in fact. So yeah. whether it's a song contest or it's major sports distributions or all types of activities, uh, we worked together there and that's where we met. Uh, I had been with Eurovision. I started out working with them already back in 92 as a special events producer and then was head of special events. And Paul was responsible for many major technical setups. Um, and we were actually up in Davos at the World Economic Forum a couple of years ago. And we saw more and more journalists from around the world that were one man bands, Mojo. Yeah. And they were trying to do pieces, the camera with a little light. And, <laughs> and we're like, it's just a matter of time. They're going to be streaming live, but they're going to need good quality. Um, and then it rapidly advanced. And we basically kicked off with development the beginning of 2019. Um, and here we are today. Trixie, uh, you know, it goes back to the old days where we would just all have our stuff. I remember people <laughs> 2014, Brian, you have to have your own camera and all stuff. I'm like, I don't have time to do all that stuff. What are we all doing now? What you just said, Lance, we're all doing this. And now we have to have our own travel cases and, and stuff. This is where we are. And, and I, I'm very, very happy that Trixie's there to help because she knows what it's like to do all this stuff on her own, whether she goes to Cannes or whatever. Uh, I know what it's like to put this together when we're traveling, and it is, it, it's, it's a lot to do, and people just don't understand how tough this mm -hmm. is. So I thank you guys for coming up with this, because it's a great concept. It's very good. Well, so, when, we, you know, when we see 40 nominees using it from around Europe, uh, and these are busy people. I mean, directors, Costa Gavras, I mean, you know, all types of actresses, actors, et cetera, producers. Um, if, if they can do it, most of them had it set up on their own, but then we do a little handhold and we talk through and they're like, oh, okay, great, that works fine. We wanna make it simplified, very easy uh, so that it's really one or two clicks and the signal is going. I figured, yeah, really I figured that would happen now because at Super Bowl, remember Brian, I was telling you, uh, at Super Bowl, like everyone was with their with their cameras, and I have my device, my little tripod, and everyone trying to interview uh, athletes. No one has time to haul that big old camera and all that. Everyone's with with their phones, with their cell phones, and they're doing mm -hmm. this. If you have a really good cell phone, you know the the, the latest one, and um, for the iPhone, and 
it has better quality than the big old cameras I used uh, to carry, what Brian used to yeah. mention. Exactly. <laughs> I used to have to carry it like a big old suitcase <laughs> with the lights, the big old, the shoulder rest. I mean, this was 10 years ago, but this is this is how I first started. And it was so, my arm, you know, everything was, it was so heavy. And then now it's so easy because now I just put my phone and my utensils in a fanny pack and I can go to an event and record just with the best, with the same quality, if not better, than the person with the big old camera because of the technology today. And so what you're saying is you can stream it along with the phone. That's even better. I see that. I see that very, that tool, very, very useful. Paul's showing a really good microphone from Shure, which yeah. is, uh, you know, plug it straight into the iPhone, works with the Global M app. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a type of microphone you could use for a home concert or an insert of music or reports, very good interviews. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had great, uh, in fact, we did a cycling race in Canton Valley, which is two valley, uh, which is two cantons over, kind of like states. And um, it, they say it's the world's toughest one day cycling race. It's 240 kilometers, 8,000 meters of climbing. So 8,000 wow. yards of climbing in the Alps. And it's grueling because the, the first one does it in about nine hours and 58 minutes. Wow. Um, uh, and we provided that, we provided the coverage on two motorcycles and exactly what the cameraman said, this is so much better than having a big camera on the shoulder. We can have two iPhones, we can put them in a gimbal, we can charge one while we're shooting when the motorcycle stops to get fuel, then we just switch them out. We start streaming again within 20, 30 seconds. We're on the same stream link and we're feeding again back to the production vehicle, which in that case was in Verbier. And it was bringing in, you know, signals. So we had two motorcycles, one from a car and one from a drone base station, which were feeding back. Wow. Okay. Worked well. Very well. The production output looked like the Tour de France. It did. I mean, we didn't, because we had the drone flying over them. And we had the motorbikes traveling. And we had the guy who was, just, he was stopping at the, the filling stations, getting all these nice color shots. And so, and then we had a three camera studio there as well. Uh, with, with all of this for 10 hours of streaming, it was rock solid. And wow. uh, the production output looked, yeah. It, and we were doing this with, uh, with uh, mobile phones. These microphones were kitted with a much heavier windsock, as you can imagine, because they're on the back of motorbikes. So to stop the, the popping on the microphone, but um, worked, worked really well. And then on our website, there's a, there's a video showing yeah. that as well. When we talk about filling stations, this is where the cyclist would say, I need a banana, I need a water, I need a Coke, I need something to fuel me. I need, you know, I need more fuel because <laughs> up and down the mountain, I, I don't know how they do it. I mean, that's that's a lot of climbing. Wow. And Paul, that, that same microphone uh, that you have uh, presented in front of you right now, will that work on an iPhone? I mean, will that be able to plug in? It's got the lightning connector on there. This one. Okay. I use an iPhone as well. Okay. This is uh, this uses this is a Shure microphone. Uh, our friends in from Shure in Chicago sent us four of these, and uh, so we always give them a bit of a plug too. Oh. And and uh, these are great microphones using the using their app, and you you can adjust the the, the Shure Motive app, and you can adjust the gain, and and you can set the the, the proximity range and everything. Um, the, the cardioid response, sorry, on the microphone and all those kinds of things you can do. So you can really then add the professional audio to what you were oh, saying. I'd like to order one. I, yeah. wanna, I want that link. That's exactly what I need. I want to order one like today. <laughs> like it's yesterday, insane. I should have ordered it. <laughs> great quality video, but the microphones on the, on the mobile phones uh, aren't that great. But this really transforms that okay. into a much better, much better audio. So, you know, audio really does account for 50% of your audio visual experience. Yeah, it does. And so if you've got bad audio, you really you really feel it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I had a purchase one um, not too well for uh, back in Super Bowl Oscar time, and uh, it worked well, but then uh, it kept cutting out. Like you had to, you know, mess with it. And it's just yeah. kind of disappointing that you have to kind of make sure it's working and put your headphones on constantly to make sure the sound wasn't, you know, diminishing or anything or not playing at all. And uh, yeah, that was just the thing. 
you know. So I the great thing. Here we this saying, that's a, a good one. I want to know because I want to buy it. <laughs> you've got a you've got a headphone jack. Yeah, I do. I do. I do have. I have. You've got a headphone jack on this as well, so you've got the so you can put your earpiece in as well. And with the global app, we have the return vision and audio as well. So if you've got a production happening and you want to have the you know your your, your remote guest needs the the vision coming back as well with the audio cues, we provide that too. And you, with this kind of microphone, you can break that out from the iPhone on the microphone. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Give her the model number, Paul. Give her it's the model the short number. M. 88. What's it called again? M88. 88. Yeah. Uh, MV88 plus. Sorry. MV88 plus. Yeah. Absolutely. I know that one is a good mic. See, I was, I'm used to, and I, and I still do this. I'm used to doing um, what we would call them the round table interviews. So if Vigo came in, you know, he would sit in one side, I'd be to the left or to the right of him. And then we would have our one on one. So I always took that mic and I use it. So we always had mm. sound. We would turn off the air conditioning. We would take away the water bottles with ISO. We would, that's it's a great for so we literally for so many years. Um, and I'm still used to that. So when I would go around the red carpets, that's why I stopped doing them. And I can only imagine uh, what it's like when we're doing that stuff now, because I know what it's like when Trixie has to do this stuff. And I'm like, oh, I hate doing that. But we got <laughs> a clean sound, you know? Lance, talk about this. Um, if everything goes correctly, uh, sometime in May, I'm supposed to be in St. Petersburg, Russia. I would love to try okay. that. But I have a feeling I wanna, Trixie, we could we could try this on our Tuesday night shows, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm looking for the right equipment. I mean, especially right now, I have a big project coming up in March and I wanna be ready. And so one of the things that I uh, was looking into was the microphones actually, because I wasn't happy with the sound quality I I got back at the Oscars for the Super Bowl. It went great. And I don't know what happened, but Oscars, the footage, it was, the sound was, it was, it would go high and then it'd go low. And then it just, it was a flop for me. So I couldn't even broadcast it, you know? And, uh, mm. I mean, not for a network. I mean, I had, I was, I was able to put it on YouTube, but you know, wasn't able to put it on my my Amazon Prime Video channel, and that was pretty disappointing, all because of a microphone. And so, I need to uh, fix that. <laughs> but since we had COVID this whole time, I didn't bother fixing it because of the fact that there was nothing to to film. But now I have a project coming up, and now it's time to get the equipment right and and make sure I'm I'm up. I'm a, right because I don't want to have to do it a second time, you know, because it costs money <laughs> yeah. to do sure, it again. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think we'd like to get you set up with a demo and get you set up with a code and and uh, give you a little, you know, a brief explanation of the platform, how you can set up your own bookings, uh, how you get the SRT stream link, um, talk through a little bit how they receive the signal back at the control room or you know, okay. the various options. Okay. So it could stream on Amazon Prime as well. Is that what you're saying? Or no? Not directly. Not directly. So if you go to my yeah. YouTube channel then as well, right? Or my website, I do have streaming service for I can my show website. you later how to turn that around. There's oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I could definitely have it either way on my YouTube channel and on the websites. Yeah, Brian, we can have that on the websites too. <laughs> okay. Well, and that's the reason why I wanted to have her on because she loves doing this. I hate Perfect. it, nor do I have the time, but we have we all have to have this technology. How simple is it for every the average ordinary person who just wants to try it out? How simple is it? It's it's uh if if the average person who wants to stream, like let's say they've seen a breaking news event and they want to stream it, uh, it's as simple as taking the app out, opening the app up or logging in with an account first and then going straight to go live. There's a go live button. Hit that button and they're streaming. Okay. What about yeah, Brian, we could put that on the website, on movie reviews and on the custom trends and however, if you're hey, at an event, you can do it as live. Long as she as long as Trixie could do it, we're going to do it then. <laughs> <'Cause she does. laughs> yeah, we could do it. We could definitely <laughs> yeah, put it on like both that. websites. You know, we could <laughs> definitely put it on both websites and if when we're at events and stuff and boom, we'll be live if it's that easy. And 
Yeah. Sure. You I have think a we little. Can make it happen. <laughs> You yeah. have a little zoom option here. You have the choice of 1080, 720. Then there's um, a safe zone uh, that can pop up over the screen to show you. Mm -hmm. There is switching between front and back cameras. There's turning on the lights. Um, you see the audio on the other side. It, it, you hit that red button and you're, you're streaming live. It's, you're streaming and, live. Ah. And when you're in, <clears throat> when you're in the, the management, the web application, you can send messages to the screen so your remote guest, you can be saying, hey, can you move a little bit to the left? You might not want to say it over the microphone at the time. You can just type it to them and it will appear on their screen and it just stays there for about 15 seconds and disappears. So you can send like little cues like that as well. Oh. That's how I, that's how we do our Tuesday shows. I think I, I could, yeah. Uh, talk about yeah. this. What do you familiar. want, you know, between now and the end of the year, uh, when is this available? And then what do you want the average consumer to know about this? It's available now in the app store. So Global M Space Media, you'll find the app. You can download the app. The app is free. Uh, now, remember, we are mainly business to business. And when we get into the mobile journalism, when the citizen journalism, the freelancers, then we can go consumer to business as well if they're not professional freelancers. We like to call them reporters. But in fact, the network is up and running and working. We've done a soft launch already. So we are uh, basically working with um, a good handful of different media right now, including sports, news, private exchange programs to make sure they're happy, get their feedback before we go larger. We're about, uh, we're finalizing an, an agreement as well with the media conglomerate in the US to help with both sports and then eventually news as well. We can't really announce anything yet, but that's uh, coming. One of, the, one of the things that's pretty cool too, guys, is, is that um, we're talking, you're talking about a, like citizen journalists or, or reporters. Think of it, some of the, a couple of our features is a little bit like Uber, if you wanna say. A media company can type in a location into the into the web application and say, you know, they could type in London, for example, or, or, or Washington, and it'll automatically give them all of those reporters that have the app installed their location where they are, and then you can offer the media company can offer a direct assignment to them and say, hey, uh, there's some breaking news about five five kilometers away from where you are. Are you able to go? And they can start this dialogue and accept a particular rate. A bit like booking an Uber. You know how you find that person and you, you, you accept it and then the same kind of thing. But this time we're getting, you know, news networks and broadcast broadcasters and radio stations to be able to kind of uh, book, a, book an on-demand, you know, journalist that's got the camera app in their hand to get there and get the coverage for them. That makes sense. We got about three minutes. Uh, starting with Lance, um, this is this is interesting, especially on the technology side of things, uh, the media side, the world of sports. Um, we're touching all those aspects of things. What do you see the media companies going with this? Because this is something that they can utilize also for them. How do you see them utilizing this? Say, if someone from like Warner Brothers, or even maybe for movie theaters, would this work for theaters too, since they're shut down? Uh, are you talking about streaming in or streaming out to a consumer? Uh, either, either, because they don't really know what they're doing. We've got our setup going, so we're mm -hmm. so we want to be leading the way, right? Don't we, Trixie? <laughs> sure, I know. Sure. Well, of course, I think first and foremost, it's very easy for a media conglomerate, an entertainment conglomerate, to use it internally for themselves. Right. Uh, for example if someone was scouting locations and they needed to stream that back in in high quality and put it onto a big screen, they could do that, no problem. Uh, for a producer or a group of producers, a director, et cetera, depending on which locations they're looking at, um, streaming in both directions is not a problem. Uh, we have the network, so we, we don't only stream from a camera, any SRT compatible device. And SRT, once again, is secure, reliable transport. Think about it as a broadcast standard, which it is today. Um, we can stream in any direction and we can go point to point and point to multi-point. 
So it could be a massive sporting event that could be distributed. Uh, it could be, uh, you know, contribution coming back into the stadium or into a concert from a remote guest of a, of a music concert or of a TV show or, I mean, the, the possibilities really are endless. <laughs> Let me ask you this real quick then, uh, because we got a, we got a, well, we got, we had one of the, the good virtual uh, award shows on the music side that we did. So it, it ended up like a, like number 10 in the world. Uh, so mm -hmm. we're going to do one for Valentine's Day. So I think Trixie, so we could utilize this for our next virtual music concert then, huh? Right? I think so. Definitely. Okay. Because, and then, so we would be the only ones using it, wouldn't we, Trixie, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. And, and the reason, Lance yeah. and Paul, the reason why I'm asking you, because we have all sure. the musicians, you know. I, I, of course. Bruce Springsteen's got something going on with one of our friends, Andrew Cole Music, and we're doing it through NAMM and Gibson Guitar. I can say that part. I can't say the song, but he's coming on our show the 26th of this month. So Trixie's going to be on that show. So guess what we're going to be using, Lance and Paul? Uh, I think it's perfect, right? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we just did with the European Film Award shows that it lasts. I mean, the, the award ceremony went for two and a half, almost three hours. And these people were live the whole time. They did not drop from the screen. We'd see them come and go. We'd see them pop a bottle of champagne. We saw some of them drink champagne from the bottle <laughs> because, I mean, they were always present on our screens and we were ensuring that the quality was there because the director said, I need to come to them at any time, especially when it's their nomination. Music would be perfect because we've talked about the microphones, which is a very important part of it. And being able to stream that back to a control room, taking in the SRT streams, I mean, there's nothing to stop you from having a couple of iPhones giving you different angles of that musician or that group as well. No problem for us to do that. Paul, I'm gonna give you- When do we get started? Exactly. Paul, <laughs> I'm gonna give you the last word on this. Sorry, it just it cut out for a second. So I missed what your question was. Oh, I said, I'm gonna give you the last word and then the social media links, how people can chime in on everything. Right, okay. They can go to our website, which is globalm.media. Very easy. Uh, we'd be happy to give demos as well. They can just book a demo time and we can give a demo. Um, and yeah, uh, last word, uh, come check us out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I rarely get excited unless it's through in the world of drum and bugle corps. And this would work for them too, because they're coming and that's interesting. Think of any marching band that's been just sidelined. So I'm working with mm -hmm. to get their stuff out because it, it's too early to chore. You can't get kids on a bus and all that stuff. But this is perfect. Mm. They would really love this. So for Trixie Jen out of Houston, Texas, Lance, Paul, Kimberly, Lissette, Karen, or Karen um, thank you for this. This is Brian Sebastian, Movie Reviews and More. Um, and I have to always say this. If you see someone without a smile, please give them one of yours because the world needs it. And we will see you next week.